Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra and I'm here with another BBL vlog video. So please come with me and follow me through this journey. So please make sure you like and you subscribe in the button below. So why I decided to have a BBL. The reason why I decided to have a BBL is because I don't like the shape of my butt. Don't get me wrong, I love my body. I love how my body looks. I just don't like the shape of my butt. And that's the reason why I decided to have a BBL. I've been thinking about having this BBL for the past five, six years now. And the reason why I've chose to do it now is because I just said, you know what? I've been looking at all these before and afters of all these girls getting their booties done and I said you know what this is something I really want let me just do it uh, I did try the diet and exercise so for those that are watching and they're like well how come you didn't go to the gym well I did I did go to the gym I did exercise I did diet I even went on keto and I will be quite honest I lost a lot of weight on keto and with losing a lot of weight I lost whatever fat that kind of gave me the look of having a big butt. So I did exercise, I did diet, I did lift weights, and I focused more on lower body workout. And still, even though my butt was getting more volume because of my muscles, it was still not round. So and no matter how much diet and exercise I do, Genetically, I am not going to have a round butt, and that is it. So the only way to fix it is by calling in the professionals, the surgeons, and fix that square that I have and make it a nice little peach. So that is the reason why I decided to have a BBL, is because I'm not happy with the way my butt looks. I want a more rounder, fuller butt. Who I chose as my surgeon? I chose Dr. De Jesus from Spectrum Aesthetics in Miami, Florida. I chose her because in other, I, I watch other BBL journey videos here on YouTube and so far, all the girls or dolls that have gotten their body done with Dr. De Jesus and all the reviews through the research I have done on her, um, she sounds like a very humble person. She's to the point, uh, very sweet. And one thing that made me comfortable with her was when I was doing my research on who to choose for my doctor, I was in between Mia Aesthetics and Spectrum. There was another surgery place called 305 Plastic or 305 Surgery. I forgot what the name was. Uh, and I was interested in Mia Aesthetics, but I didn't like how their reviews were on customer service. So I just kept going back to Spectrum Aesthetics and I will go research another facility and just was not feeling it. I wasn't feeling the reviews. I wasn't feeling their before and afters or how the girls looked after the surgery. So I just kept going back to Spectrum Aesthetic. So I just decided to stay with Spectrum Aesthetics. Once I decided to go with Spectrum, I had to decide who to have surgery with. And there's uh, Dr. Vagley, Dr. Ortega, Dr. Chang, Dr. De Jesus, and now is Dr. Kegler, I believe her, his name is. He's fairly kind of new to Spectrum. And I was in between Dr. Chang and Dr. De Jesus. And the reason why I chose those two was because when I did my research on them, I looked them up. I looked up where they practiced, where they had their um, residency. And Dr. Chang and Dr. De Jesus had their residency in the Cleveland Clinic of Weston, the prestige Cleveland Clinic. And I just want to throw that in there because I do work for Cleveland Clinic myself. I work in the Cleveland Clinic of Martin. 
systems. So I felt comfortable knowing where these doctors had their residency because Cleveland Clinic is no joke. So if you don't know about Cleveland Clinic, Cleveland Clinic is located, their main hospital is located in Cleveland, Ohio. They also are located throughout the whole Treasure Coast of Florida, and that's where I live. And they're also located in Dubai. So doctors that have done their residency there, they go through a lot of intensive training. So knowing that Dr. DeJesus and Dr. Chang both did their residencies in Cleveland Clinic, I felt really comfortable. So I decided to have my surgery with Dr. DeJesus. And originally I was scheduled with her September 25th of 2020 of this year but unfortunately i had to reschedule my surgery with her because i was diagnosed with endometriosis i noticed that my periods were heavy and irregular so i had to have a hysterectomy which was fine with me because tubal ligation back in 2008 so removing my uterus was fine with me so that's a video for another day anyways so i had to have a hysterectomy and i'm glad that i had my hysterectomy first because when i had liposuction back in 2017 i had my period while wearing a faja and let me tell you something ladies having your period and i was heavy back then Having your period and being in that faja is just so uncomfortable. And I've seen girls here on YouTube that they have their surgery and two, three days later, they get their period and they are miserable. So I'm kind of glad I had a hysterectomy. So I know I don't have to worry about that. So thank God to that. And so I had to reschedule my surgery with Dr. De Jesus. So I had to wait six months before I could get my BBL. So January is six months. Actually, it's a little over six months. So I rescheduled and my new surgery date with Dr. De Jesus is it is January 29th of 2021. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying not to make these videos too long, not too boring, but I do want to make them informative. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. So thank you guys for watching and see you later. Bye. Bye. Whatever. <laughs> there goes a husband for you.